with this cold weather. We found it kind of fitting to warm you all up with a nice soup recipe featuring a superstar chef, Mary Lou Davis. Clark had the chance to hang out with her and learn a unique take on a traditional Filipino dish. Chef Mary Lou Davis. Thank you so much Hi, for that's being me. here. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So what are we making today? Okay, we are making sinigang, and it is a Filipino soup. So since I have been partnering with Sari Sari, they've mm -hmm. been teaching me a lot of different styles of Filipino cuisine, but also a lot of Filipino cuisine itself. Yes. And this is actually one of the soups that they make. It is very easy, but it's also using an ingredient that you would normally use in your house. Huh, what's that? Tamarind. Tamarind? Yes. Okay. A tamarind powder. Tamarind powder. Well, I mean, okay. you can use I'm used tamarind. to hearing that in drinks, though. Yeah. You know, like that kind of tart, sour, like candy. Oh, yeah. Wake mm -hmm. you up. Yeah. Uh, all the things that we grew up with. Yes. So. Oh, that's so cool. We're going to be using that today. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do it. What we're going to do is we're going to actually finish our salmon. Okay. And then I'm going to just let it rest. So, okay. putting it back on the bottom. So, we only cook the top part. Whenever you're cooking your salmon, you want to throw it skin side down first mm -hmm. so that you can crisp up that skin. We have this going down. And now, everybody's favorite part. Want to throw the butter in? You gotta have a little butter. Salted you or have unsalted. to. I like to use salted, but most people like to use unsalted so they can control it. Right. But don't put unsalted butter in front of me. Right. I, I get upset with I, it. Like I can't do it. Especially at a restaurant. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need it gets that little brown in your cookies too. So, that little salt. Okay. And now I see that you're tossing the butter on yeah, top. Yeah. So of the we're salmon. gonna base it. This is everyone's favorite part. They're like, oh, I want a bubble and I want to throw it. Yes. So what I need your help with is I need you to take that lime and squeeze it right on top of my salmon. All right. Cool. And so that adds. That's some gonna citrus. add, yes. Plus, I just like the sound. I'm like, oh, <laughs> yeah. It is so satisfying, you're right. So, what else are we working with today? So, what we're gonna be working with is going to be cherry tomatoes. We have baby bok choy, we have okra, and then we're also going to have green beans. So, salmon is now done. Perfect. Oh, that we're looks gonna put so her delicious. here, and she's gonna rest. Now, grab that pan for me. Okay. And, yes, chef. I'm That's gonna use a little kitchen. bit. Thank you. <laughs> We're gonna start with our little butters that we have going on right now, All since right. it's already warm, and you're gonna add in your aromatics. So put in just like a tablespoon of garlic, shallots, and ginger. Okay, a little tablespoon. No, 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 no. So that's Pretend the ginger, this is the garlic. Yes. And I'm so, gonna add a little extra garlic, because your girl loves her. Where am I need that? Garlic. And then shallots, I love how you finally dice them as well. Okay, this looks so, so good. So, got those going back and forth. You're just gonna start to get them to stick to the pan. Uh -huh. It's gonna um, start to caramelize. It's gonna create a little bit of fond, and those little brown bits are everything that we're going to need for flavor. flavor. So for you, you're gonna take our ladle, and you're gonna add in our warmed up stock. Okay. That stock consists of, it's a vegetable stock. You hit me with a couple more. Okay. And I'm gonna throw in these as well. So these we've already par blanched. So we're just warming these up. Okay. We're gonna get some of our okra that's already been blanched and we're going to warm that up as well. And one of the things that most people don't know, cause a lot of people will shy away from okra because uh -huh. they're like, it's slimy. Right. So if you wanna stay away from that, what you can do is you get your okra and you're gonna give it a bath in water with a couple tablespoons of vinegar. And just oh, kind wow. of like let it sit for at least an hour. Okay. And that's gonna take away some of your sliminess. Mm -hmm. Now you're gonna add our secret ingredient, this which can. is gonna be the tamarind powder. So put it in about half of that tablespoon. About half. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Sprinkle it right in and we're gonna mix it. And so this is gonna give it like that bright kind of like acidic flavor where uh -huh. it's all like, mm, wow, just a nice little pucker. Yeah. It's gonna like kiss your sinuses goodbye. You're normally gonna just cook it until your vegetables are done. But mm -hmm. as you know, mine were already part done. Yeah. So I'm just going to turn this bad boy off. Perfect. Hand me the bowl, please, and thank thee. Inside, we're gonna have a little bit of jalapenos. You have a little bit of spice. You're gonna have brightness from your cherry tomatoes and then a nice little crunchiness from the bok choy. Oh, yum. And that pop when you bite into it. I Ooh. love that. So satisfying. So we're just gonna pour that right in. Oh my gosh. Our beautiful salmon. I'm gonna put some crunchy onions on top. Everybody mm -hmm. loves that. These are gonna be some fried shallots, a little bit of our micro cilantro. And that's it, baby, that's all she wrote. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. Obviously, I need to take a sip. I'm going right for the broth because that's like the key in this Go dish, I feel like. I'm gonna act like you didn't steal my spoon. I did steal your spoon. <laughs> it's so that's good, right? I wasn't expecting. Thank you so, so much for You're being on welcome. our show today and sharing this recipe, Mary Lou. Where can people find you? People can find me on my Instagram, on TikTok, um, on Twitch, and it's gonna be Geeks and Grubs. G-E-E-K-S-A-N-D, Grubs.